sailed out of Sydney Harbour, the city gave us quite the goodbye. Golden sunrise, winks of steel and glass from the city. And before long, the traffic noise, the harbour, a busy metropolis faded away. Just lost sight of land. I don't see any land here. No, it's a little unsettled, but we're still cruising along between five and eight knots. Yeah, this whale's not big, which is good. And we're not tacking. We're not tacking, which is great. And um, yeah, we're having a, having a good start. We have some serious ocean to navigate. Our route is 440 nautical miles long from Sydney across the feared Tasman Sea to somehow hit a tiny speck of land in the middle of the ocean, Lord Howe Island. Ah, our first day was glorious. Wind on the beam had us clipping along at eight to 10 knots as we shot over the East Coast current. Imagine myself in an automobile a hundred miles an hour, only me at the wheel. I want it to shine, be only mine. The engine has to be just the one of a kind. How many dollars do I need, sir? You know, I sure don't have a lot. There must be something we can work on. Looks like someone's having fun to me. I guess I could make room for one. Hey. Bottle of rum for you and me together, riding into the sun. Live without care with the wind in my hair. I'm driving through the desert, yeah, going. Take me where the wheels take me. Far away, wheels take me. I can't stay, wheels take me any place today. Imagine myself. In an automobile, a hundred miles an hour, if you know how to be. For our first night, we rift down the sails, and with a full moon to light the way, latitude plunged on through the dark. Take me where the wheels take me, far away, wheels take me, I can't stay. Day two. Ooh. Yeah, everyone is heaps tired. Did you have a good night's sleep? Mm. Remember <laughs> so? No. Don't remember <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> Day two and the wind changed. We are now tacking, which means the boat is sideways and I'm strapping in for kitchen duties. Meanwhile, it is nearly impossible to walk down here. I'm gonna try and have a nap. I don't know how my bed's gonna be. And this stove is like going crazy. By late afternoon, the weather got a little nasty. Strong winds and the waves came with them. <laughs> no. 
no smiling. No smiling. I never had trouble before, but it seems my belly didn't like the constant rolling and the bigger waves of offshore sailing. So. Well, these are the parts of sailing that you don't often see. We had a beautiful day sailing straight out, seven, eight knots, lovely swell right behind us. And now uh, we've got 22 knots right on the nose almost. We've had to change course. We've got a sea slamming into us from the side and uh, yeah, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Happy sailing. Go in there, Angel. Having a good time. I think I'm missing my bed a little bit. <laughs> First day. Where are my sea legs? My belly is not feeling very good. Not too bad. No throwing up at least. Just a, just not right. Feeling a bit crook. Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. Tomorrow will get better. I hadn't slept for two days and I'm finally going to get some sleep. I think this is my bunk bed for the night. As you can see, no good if you are claustrophobic. And also, my wife is out there in the dark sailing this 46 foot yacht by herself. So, how am I meant to get to sleep thinking about that? Alright, I'm clocking off. So, last night we saw something dirty on the side of the boat came up to have a look and we found this mess. One of those weird things that happens when you're sailing. We're still not sure what it was, probably oil dumped by a passing tanker. Going in the middle of two sea mountains. Stay up late and rise up early to what the morning do. Oh, these are the days you, you absolutely wish for. We've got 14 knots off the beam. We're cruising at about 8, 9 knots. We've got the swell right behind us. Two days of wind to go. And are halfway across. I'm just floating. Cause I'm in that deep water. And I got a Emotions better learn to swim. Got so many of them, gonna fall victim. Good riddance, cause you know it's all fun and games and games and fun. Tell a lot of fun and go the world's going down. So I learn to fly. They don't appreciate the life till it's time to die. At this point, we are far enough out that no one is coming to help. It's just us and this ever changing, rolling ocean and her moods. Out here, she behaves differently. Bigger, more powerful, unrestricted. We are in all aspects at her mercy. What's going on? Shower today. Someone left the tap open. Turn up the water bin. <laughs> How's your boots? 
You like my salty style? Do my hair, please. <laughs> we often throw out a fishing line while we're sailing, but honestly, what on earth is this fish? That is an ugly thing. Looks like a creature from the deep. Oh, sweetie, you can give you a kiss. Look at the size of it. Bye, guy. about sunrise time and we are about 32 nautical miles to go and to arrive in Lord Howe Island. What's happening here? It's Captain! <laughs> Call me at breakfast time. Oh, Vegemite toast! Cup of tea. Luxurious breakfast. Oh no. Whoops, everything is falling. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I was really upset about that tea. But I forgot about it pretty quickly when we saw what was ahead. See something on the horizon coming out of the mist? We've been blessed with this beautiful morning, clear sky, beautiful ocean, and it's just amazing rising and horizon. This big monumental rock. You can just see Bell's Pyramid as well, but Lord how Island coming from the mist is just spectacular. Very special. But yeah, it would be good to be stand in the land, settle my guts. <laughs> Very Aussie, mate. Settle my guts. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's unbelievable. we need to do now good. is get through this narrow reef passage and we are there. One, two, Check. one, two. <laughs> we hope our videos will inspire you to chase your own dreams and adventures. If you liked ours, please hit subscribe. Bons ventos. Good winds.